guys, how are you doing? Welcome to Trending, brought to you by Airtel. My name is Nancy Isime, and it is so good to have you join me today. I know you're wondering, what's going on? Why this studio? Well, I'm sure you also heard about the fire incidents, and we kind of, we're stuck with this for now, but trust me when I say we're working on something bigger, and something better for you guys. But for now, please enjoy watching me like this, okay? <laughs> As you know, Trending is brought to you by Airtel, and on this show, we discuss everything and everyone that is trending, which is exactly what I'm going to do right after this break. So, me guys, I'll be right back. Hey guys, welcome back. Today's topic of the day is, has rap music lost its touch content-wise in Nigeria? And with me in the studio today is definitely a rap god who will be discussing this topic and everything that he knows about this topic. I'm talking about nobody else, but Ill Bliss, Ill Bliss, Oga Boss, what's up? How are you baby? I'm very well, how are you? Good. How's it going? Good to see you. Do you like my new space first? Um, yes, I do. It's a bit smaller, though. Yeah, I know. Yeah. There's, a, there's just flour for it's you, flour, just in yeah. case you're hungry. You just <laughs> drag one and chew, you know? And then the TV is right here. You have to, now it's like trending. trending. You know like, what I'm saying? It's smack in your face. Like, I know, oh, I is, know. This is our show. I'm but are you, are you comfortable? Um, yeah, I am. You it's, are? It's your show now. I so know, it's, I, I mean, know. It's, it's a great. Good to be back here, though. Yes, it's been, this is like your third time back or fourth time? Third. You've been here, yes, yeah. third time, yes, yes. Third but it's time. good to have you again. Thank you very now, much. Now, tell me first, before we go straight into the topic of the day, what are you wearing and what was the inspiration behind it? Oh, okay. Um, this is a Ralph Lauren shirt. Okay. Um, I can't really tell the make of the jeans. So okay. I'm, I'm starting to wear a lot of stuff like this, you know, like uh, the, the rips and the... Designs. The designs. <laughs> And your shoes are, yeah. And green Timberlands. Classic, Sick. classic things, but we're repping the, 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 the Nigerian culture, so we have to keep green. That's what's yeah. up. Well, it's so good to have you today. Like I said, uh, today's topic of the day is Has rap music really not lost its touch um, content wise in Nigeria? Do you agree that um, the rap culture in Nigeria is dying? The rap culture in Nigeria is mm. evolving. It's. Um, it's become a fusion of, of genres. Okay. It's, um, you see, I come from a golden era of hip hop music mm -hmm. where um, everything was 100% content. Like okay. It was, it was always about um, lyrics, the flow, you know, the, how, how socially conscious and socially charged you are. Yeah. Even as a commercial artist, mm -hmm. you still need those records that would speak on society, speak okay. about. All the ills we were going through as a country. You know, right. Hip hop, from my, from when I started it, I was always meant to be correctional. Mm -hmm. it was always meant to be um, reflective. Mm. You know, mm. we, we turn, but there was always a need for hip hop music to also um, be accepted, more accepted. So I think as the years went on, um, the rappers started to get more experimental. Okay. With, yeah, with the music, they started to. Mm -hmm. Infuse other yeah. elements. We're talking about infusion and being yeah. experimental. Do, do you think that there's anything wrong with you know a rapper infusing other genres of music into rap? Personally, I don't. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Okay. Because um, okay, like it depends on everything. Really depends on on your brand and what you want it to stand for. Mm. You know, a lot of people have tried to infuse other genres and other styles of music mm. with the rap with the, with the rap side of it. Some people have gone it wrong. Some people have actually created a totally different fan base. Mm. Yeah, from, from that. From, from that, you know. Mm. And and I'll, I'll give you an example. Okay. Um, early late last year, I'm into um, major parts of, of this year. Mm -hmm. I had records out that had a lot of club acceptance. That had a lot of mass acceptance. Mm. You know, and um, we started out with Jawa Laya, with Ricardo Banks and Mr. Easy, mm. and then we went out to drop Alaji with Future in mm. Town. Mm. You know, and these are the records. These are those big records that when you when you're getting called for shows, mm -hmm. people just are like, "Man, we can't wait for you to perform." This song, these records. Yeah. I didn't sing the the singing part of the songs. I didn't sing them. Yes. Because as so sort of like maybe as a rule, which. I mean, nobody sent me. Yeah, yeah, yeah you just is, made out. This is so. just a rule I made for myself. Okay. I started hip hop music knowing that I could do the verses and I could get the right person to sing the books. All right. Yes, and that's how that's the generation of hip hop that I started from. So sort of like what a Nas would do, what a Jay Z would do, we'll what do, a yeah. Fat Joe would do, mm. what a Cross would do. Mm. You know, but over time, then we started to get the Drakes. You know, the the, the Drake type 
the kind of rappers. The rappers that the Twenty One Savages, you know, the newer, um, more vibey, vibey kind of artists mm-hmm. that could speak the verses and also sing the sing chorus, it. sing the choruses. Okay. And they started to pull it off and they started to make big records. And a lot of people you know? tend to jump on yeah, it. And yeah, a lot of people jump on it. So okay. I think you know, like really, to each his own. Mm-hmm. Hip hop is like a canvas. You're like an artist, mm-hmm. and everybody's painting. What they can see. Right. Some people try to start painting the skies. Mm-hmm. Some people paint from the streets. Mm. Some people paint from the cars. Mm. To, you decide how you want it to sound. And okay. How you, want, how you want it to feel. Okay. You know, in terms of content, a lot of content content is kind of missing though. Right. Yeah. Because everything because it's kind of targeted towards the youth market. It's kind okay. of targeted towards you know making it a club song, mm-hmm. a massive mm-hmm. song for the streets. Mm. Sometimes we lose out on. On touching the key issues that okay. we're going through as, going. As, a, as a nation. Okay, okay. But what is your take on um, Rapper Fix Your Life uh, track mm-hmm. and its message? Um, I think M has a lot of M has a lot of points in, mm. in, in the record. Right. If, we have, if we have to be honest, like, mm. like rappers sit up and do more, just, right. just be more. Mm. Just, I think it's a clarion call to rappers to to sit up. Right. But initially, when you heard it, because I heard it, I laughed. I said, okay. I, know, I know M. M is about attention in the game. And, yeah. and I, I, I mean, I looked at it, I'm like, yes, M probably has has a project coming and then mm-hmm. he needs, he needs this conversations to start to happen. You know, yeah. Would, so all of a sudden, everybody on the internet, rappers started Talking. to point at themselves. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, I, I always... I have this joke with my friends, we're like, rappers are the most sensitive people on earth. Right. They're very touchy. Like, mm. if you tell a rapper something that is not even connected and they just catch feelings. Right. And I don't think guys half of the time in love. Yeah. You know, so, they don't have time to fight. So, <laughs> and then the other genres, you know, but the rappers took it and a lot of people just, and I knew that was exactly what was going to happen. A lot right. of people just said, okay. Well, South African hip hop is not better than ours, so we're going to show. And then everybody sat up and started to speak back drop responses and they were kicking bars and mm. I'm like, okay, so fine. So M got you guys got talking. Your attention. Yeah. He got you guys talking. Mm. You know, so um initially you didn't feel some type of way, nothing. It's nah, just nah, okay. Nah. Okay. I don't because you know the truth to be very honest, yeah. he has a lot of respect for for the the rappers that are rappers, rap, rappers. I mean M is a fan of the culture. So yeah. he's a fan, he's an ill bliss fan. Mm. He's a reminisce fan, he's a mm. female fan. Mm. Right. You know, so I think for him, he probably wasn't even talking to us. He was probably okay. talking to a younger generation, like, like fix it, like okay. spit more bars, mm. be more intuitive with, with the music. I'm mm. not seeing the intelligence. I'm not seeing that. I'm not seeing the soul. Right, right. right. Okay. I don't have a problem with rappers with, that sing. Yeah. Mm. I don't have a problem. I need, I need to. I need this to be very clear. Okay. I think it's expression. Okay. And I think if you can do it properly and the music is amazing, then mm. it's fine. Amazing, thank you. But talking about the culture, what steps do you think um, can be taken to revive it? That's the rap culture. Okay, um, I think for a long time, for a very long, for a lot of years, the mm. hip-hop culture in Nigeria ran almost like very independently, ran without any kind of support from, mm. from anyone else but the fans and then the artists trying to put out the records. Mm. The guys that kind of designed and walked and taught for this, for this genre. Mm. A lot of them are not even relevant anymore. A lot of them never stayed around to reap the proceeds of what they worked for. Right. You know, and a whole totally different generation came in and, and took over mm. and and started to get the attention of, of the corporates. Mm. You know, one way or the other. I think um, it's just not top of the mind for corporate Nigeria. Okay. It's, I don't think it's it's that genre that they want to place, you know, they want to place a lot of emphasis on, you know, mm-hmm. probably because Nigeria is like a dance market. Right, yeah. yeah. Nigeria is a dance market, so you will always be kind of secondary to the main genres, yeah, exactly. you understand? So what the rappers are trying to do, out of survival, mm-hmm. they're trying to make sure that when that conversation for the big records come up, at mm-hmm. least you have a couple rappers that are singing. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That are, are singing and rapping mm-hmm. here and there, but they're just trying to, you know, get it, you know, get it in. But 
to and save the money. Yeah, and then I also make some money. You know, um, it's difficult being. I know what it takes to be a rapper in Nigeria. To, I know. To come out and you're trying to sound really very intelligent. You need to walk your butt off. Right. Like you need to grind. I'm talking about mm. you know making money from music. Do you think that you know commercializing rap music um, to make money did, did it kill? rap culture in any way? Did it do anything to it, negatively or positively? What's um, your take? I'm sure it, it took away a lot from it. Okay. It took a lot. Because like a young kid growing up watching television, can't really see a lot of real rappers, you know, if a hip hop fan, basically like a rapper, he, like I can't see a lot of role models because there's a lot of fusion. Mm. There's a lot of fusion going on. So, but that your role model that used to spit like mm -hmm. amazing bars and, and you could connect with lyrically mm -hmm. last year, this year he's singing, you know, and then the records kind of blow up. Yeah. Because they're good records. So mm -hmm. they kind of blow up and and then you begin to wonder, okay, maybe being a lyricist, being a rapper, mm -hmm. rapper, 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 mm -hmm. is really not going to pay the bills. Because listen, I hear these records everywhere, you okay. know. So what it does is it kind of misleads it, it kind of just confuses like the youngins the mm. ones that are looking up to you and they're trying to wear your shoes mm. later in life mm. you know it kind of confuses it brings a lot of confusion okay to them and they're okay. wondering if you know should we stay rappers should we just who are our role models when we stay rapper 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 mm -hmm. you understand so it's, it's but how, how do rappers you know if when you decide to you know what I'm not going to, you know, sway. I'm not going to try and do what other people are doing or commercialize mm -hmm. my type of rap. How do they end up making money? You know, enough money to take care of a family, enough money to do the things they want to do and live the kind of life they want to live. You know, how how can they stick to the main culture the way it's always been yeah. and still make money without going with the crowd? Because you know, music evolves. Every year there's something else. There's different genres every year. And I've seen most artists, like I'll take for example Beyonce. Mm -hmm. I feel like Beyonce kind of just jumps on whatever, you know, people are vibing I'm to. Vibing. Like she's just like, this year, it's this, this year, this album is going to. So how do you do so? How do you stay true to yourself, to your style, to your genre and still make money? Okay, so this is my um, survival kit. This is my manual as, as a rapper and as a rapper that's been in the game. I'm on my fifth album. Okay. So I am, I've seen a lot of, I've done a lot of experiments with my music. I've, okay. I've, I've seen how people react to certain records, mm -hmm. you know, and, and I, I've come to a point where you must balance the art. Mm -hmm. I like I'm a total child of balance because when you're making records, you need to understand that no matter how many commercial records you put out mm -hmm. successfully, a certain category of the industry will question your credibility as long as you're a rapper. Right. Except you're saying, listen, people, I'm not really a rapper. Like, you know, I'm a future guy. I'm like future. Mm. You understand? I'm like a guy that this is, I'm not like a, a, I'm not like Kendrick. Okay. Uh, you, you understand? So, mm. What it is, is that you need to define exactly what you are, you know, to the people. And you need to understand that music is a game of numbers. Mm. I've seen some of the most amazing lyricists, some of the most amazing writers, like they spit the most intuitive bars. They are so charged up lyrically and so mm. respected. Mm -hmm. And they, 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 they leave the game broke. Mm. They leave the game broke because they couldn't provide those records that could access them to pop culture. Mm. So until you are you're, you have a conversation, until you are mentioned in pop culture, until mm. they look at you and and they're like, okay, like I like this guy's swag, I like this fucker boss guy, man, I like his swag. Okay, you don't need to like everything that I put out. Yeah. But I must put out records that can compete. Yeah. So as a rapper, a lot of rappers are are, are very um, concerned about the lyricism. Mm. They, they fail to study the business. They fail mm. to understand that you need to be able to, to tweak that lyricism mm. to meet your needs, to meet your financial needs. You mm. need to be able to make big records. Sure if you don't make big records, nobody's going to put you on. Nigeria is difficult right. musically. Mm. And so when the show promoters are putting you on, they're not putting you on because you're an amazing rapper. They're putting you on because... People want to see you. People want to see you. People are excited and about your, you. your records are dope because that's why people, people want, want to, to see you. People want to see you. So yeah. you, need, you need to balance it out. And then also have those records that are independent, that are that are that that show the the, um, the revolutionary side of you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You, you can do that. Which is mm -hmm. why when you're putting out a mixtape or an EP or an album, mm -hmm. you need to be able to say, okay, so I don't like how the leaders have been you know, treating us or doing us 
anyhow they want in Nigeria. Yeah. So mm. this is a record for leadership. Mm. This is a record for girls mm. that they don't need to strip or, or, or use their bodies in to, certain to ways. Money, yeah. yeah, then these are records that um, inspire people for, to greatness. Then these yeah. are my club records mm. that the girls are going to like. Mm -hmm. that, you know, that's, that's how I make my music. music. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Well, thank so you so very much for yeah. sharing, Oka Boss. It's so good to hear of this. Of course, I mean, there's nobody else who I could ask about rap music, but the Oka <laughs> Boss himself. Thank you very thank much you. for sharing. All right, guys, enjoy the video of the day, but do not go anywhere as we will be right back. Skra, skra, big shark. I think the balloon is a little too big. They think it's skra. Skibi pa pa pa, skibi pa pa, skibi dum dum. Skia, skibi pa 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 pa, pa pa. Skra. Oni kimbo jaketi, she tell me take off of jacket. I think the old lande. I tell her my small hot I Mass mouth, I tell us every mass mouth. I am your Lira, Muni mass mouth, I did. Biggie Shaki, I tell you the Baroos, I tell you lots of bed. Oh, I'm only the thing goes crack, skia, scribby papa. I do the thing goes crack, scribby papa. I look good, doom, doom. Tell a mass mouth, tell a mass mouth, baby. Oh, I'm a mass mouth, and then a mass mouth, baby. Muni mass mouth, I am your Lira, I am a mass mouth. Go down to go up, baby. Oh, I'm a mass mouth, baby. Oh, I'm a mass mouth. The thing goes crack, scribby papa, I did. Skibi pum pum, abiki dum dum, skia, idi pa hu pa pa, triki pa pa, ani de balu za zimi. Hey guys, welcome back to Trending, brought to you by Airtel. I still have Oga Boss on my hot seat. I hope you enjoyed the video of the day. But right now, we're going to move on to the next level of the day, which is the Fast Fire Question segment. In this segment, I'll be asking Oga Boss a couple questions about himself, and he'll answer all these questions under 60 seconds, approximately one minute. Are you ready, Oga Boss? I think I am. You are? Yes, I Great. am. Great. Time starts yeah. now. What did you have this morning? Eggs, toast. <laughs> Most cherished item? PS4. Oh, okay. <laughs> what do you think about when you are alone in your car? Money. Favorite. How to make mo how to make more, more money. More of it. Okay. Yeah. Favorite rapper? Nas. Biggest moments this year? My child. Aww. My daughter came this year. <laughs> yes, yes. Favorite African soup? Um, banga. Oh, no. It's confused. It's confusing. Which one? Yeah. But okay. banga, banga soup. Banga. I love banga similar. too. Yeah. Favorite holiday? Sport? Sport, 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 states. States, yeah, okay. It sound boring to some people, but yeah, I still love America, man. Oh okay. Yeah. Favorite football club? <sighs> Arsenal. Arsenal. Yeah. Twitter or Instagram? Twitter all day, man. Hey, yeah. what is your phobia? My phobia? There are a couple. Can I share them? Or what? just one? Okay, maybe three. Okay, heights, um, failure, and rooms with no air. <laughs> No air. Claustrophobia. Well, you did well under 60 seconds, but let's talk about that. Okay, yes, you're claustrophobic. Not like rooms without, like, no, uh, rooms have to have air. You mean no, no like, windows? Like tight small. places. Like oh, tight right. places. Like an elevator that stops all of a sudden True. and, and you know, that's it. Okay, yeah. okay. I think yeah. I have a phobia slightly, but I, I will survive. Yes, food there, I'll be good. <laughs> when I was a kid, my brother used to lock me in the cupboard. He knows why. I don't know why. <laughs> He would lock me up and I'll keep knocking and start crying. Mean, mean guy. Mean so guy. <laughs> I started developing phobias for tight places. For tight places. Okay. Yeah. okay. Thank you very much for sharing. Thank All right, you. now move on to the next one, which is the tribe. Now, in this segment, mm -hmm. of course, you know, abbreviations. I'll ask you a couple abbreviations. Uh, yes, yeah. I, I flopped the last time we did, did this you? show. Yes, I did. I'm sure you do better today. I did. Are you uh, ready? I think so. All right, first one so. up, H-M-U. H-M-U? Yes. Oh, my God. I thought you were going to say HML, like happy married life, but I don't know. I don't know what it means. Do you want me to help you? Yes. It means hit me up. Oh, wow. I was never going to get that in two days. In two days, I'll be, okay. You gave me all this the whole Sheesh. week. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, what's the next one? SMH. Shaking my head. Good. QOTD. QOTD. Hmm? QOTD. TD, yes. Quote of the day? Uh, yes, I'll let that go. Yes, quote of the day. It okay. could also be question of the day. Oh, but yes, it goes two ways. Oh, yes. Wow. Okay. Good, 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 good. FYI? For your information. Good. A TBH? Uh, to be honest. YOLO! You only live once. TBT? TBT? Yes. Um, I don't know. 
don't know. Do you want me to help you? Hey! Throw back, throw back, throw back, throw back. I see. If you get it, I will tell them why you got it. I'm listening. Throw back. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's uh, throw back Thursday. Yeah, of course it's throw back Thursday. You guys, there's somebody right beside you. You know <coughs> no. that this is my new space, Abby. So, I can't really control Nobody. it. Nobody. In my studio, there's a door. So, uh, uh, you know, this is no, but uh, no, person. His true. name Do is Hugo. You know you know He's why? giving him expo. Because you're always in TBTs. Like, you're always putting up some of your pictures, like... Did Throw you know it first? You didn't know no, it. No, but I knew it was it. Oh, I was just... please look for Ogo and then tell him not to do that. I'm not even you. saying Ogo. He's not even anywhere around here. Yes, so. you saw him when you heard him. But, but yes, you but got it, that. Yeah, and you didn't get that. Like I'll give you half for that. <laughs> half because you were told the answer. Last one, H-N-M. H-M-M. N-M. H-N-M. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. Do you want to look to the left, to the left? No, I never looked to the left. You want man. to look to the right, to yeah. the right? <laughs> I don't know, man. You can you can help me with that one. All right. It means happy new month. Happy new month. Yes, happy new month. H N M. Yes. Oh, wow. I'm sure you saw a lot of that. Just you know, after the last, but you know, you need to give me some credit for for doing a bit better this no, year. No, you did do really no, well. Like at least seventy percent, you did well. Was terrible. You're terrible. So I went back and I started to study, and I knew this day would come. Will come, Abby. Where you do this again. <laughs> but know? like I say, social media abbreviations, knowing the answers, do not in any way, you know, test your intelligence or make you look intelligent. In no way. It's just fun. It's just games. And it's just for us to look at that. Listen to and laugh. A lot of people, I think they rate intelligence on that. They're like, oh, this person is so, is so dumb because of that. And I'm like, no, don't do that. Okay? Well, thank that's you very much. Like an interest in it. Take an interest yes. in it then. Yes. Yeah, I took an interest in it. In it. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for participating in my games. But um, you guys, we'll go on a short break now. When we come back, Oga Boss will be reading some nasty comments. Are you ready? Are you ready? We're always ready for this You're comments. You're always waiting. Yeah. We <laughs> go home and we cry, but on TV, we're like... Yo, but we, <laughs> we used to it. We used to it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll be right back. Stay with us. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. Now, if you're just joining us, you're watching Trending, brought to you by Airtel, and it is time for my guest today, Oga Boss, no, no other but Il yes. to read some nasty comments and of course react to each of them. Are you ready? Yeah. Please do we so. We are always ready for these comments. Nasty comments. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's just two. Just two. We used to have a lot more now. <laughs> that lose. Okay, this one is from Ekene. He said, Iblis doesn't have bars again. He's old school. Okay. Second one is Chris T. No lyrical content, and I heard he's proud. Okay. Well, let's start with that, can um, Iblis doesn't have bars again. He's old school. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I'm, like, to be honest, I don't, yeah. I'm not, like, really very touched about the first one, mm -hmm. you know, because they're, they're bars for days. Like, exactly. Yes, you understand. If I was old school, you would know now. I'd have been way, way, way out of the game mm -hmm. by now. But, I mean, God kept us there. Hey, can I go and buy my new album? Mm -hmm. That would teach you that I'm, I'm so still yeah. very, very in tune, you know, with the current schools. Mm -hmm. No lyrical content. It's almost like the same kind of questions, the same kind of um, um, comments. comments. And I heard it's proud. I'm not proud, though. <laughs> I'm not proud. I just look, you know, arrogant snobbish. and snobbish uh, on, on television. But when people meet me in real life, mm -hmm. five minutes into the conversation, they're like, oh, my God, you're an amazing guy. Oh. And I'm like, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> they never see that. All they see is just the videos the and, videos, yeah. and the courage. So whenever you have courage in Nigeria, they, they mistake you for being arrogant. arrogant but I'm not so. arrogant. And, you know, I want you to be my fan, two of you. <laughs> so you guys, I'll make sure you get my new album and um, just just log into my music. I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. Thank you yeah. so very much. Yeah. It'll be for coming today. And thank you thank so much you for so sharing much. all of you with us today. Thank you so much. Yes, I hope you had fun. Yes, it was. It's, you know, like I always say, it's awesome. It's trending is is an awesome show. And, you know, and I know that you guys. You know, the fire can't stop you guys. Of yeah. course, it cannot. Yeah, the fire can't. It's just you know, it's it's a little setback, but mm -hmm. you know. I wish you guys all the luck. Thank and you. Big very ups much. to the entire Hit TV crew. Woo -hoo. They only here. And shout out to Mr. Ayo. He's a visionary man. Yes. He's a man that has so much vision. Thank big you. ups to you guys. And to you, baby girl. Thank You've you. You've made so much money in 2017. Amen. Like, crazy. Amen. <laughs> you better pray for me. 18 will be madder. Amen. 18 will even be madder. Amen. So like, if, you think you're making, if you think you think you're making money now, 18 will be crazy. Oh, in Hadley. So call, call me. Holla at your boy. I will definitely. <laughs> Holla at your boy. Definitely. Thank you so much. Very You're welcome. Audience. You're welcome, Thank sweetie. You. All right, guys. Enjoy the top five. I will be right back.
top five male wealthiest hip hop artist 2016. At number five is Drake. His net worth is $60 million. At number four is Birdman. His net worth is $110 million. Sitting at number three is Jay Z. His net worth is $610 million. At number two is Dr. Dre. His net worth is $710 million. Finally, at the number one spot is Diddy. His net worth is $750 million. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching today's episode of Trending. I hope you had fun. As you know, Trending is brought to you by Airtel, and I had Olga Boss on my hot seat. I know, in case you're just joining us, and I know you're wondering, okay, why the studio? I already explained um, at the introduction of my show. Uh, uh, we had an incident with fire in our office, and, you know, this is what we're stuck with for now. But trust me when I say very soon, we'll have a better, 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 better set for you. Thank you very much for sticking with me regardless. And um, I hope you had one or two things to learn from my guest today, Oga Boss. Make sure you join the conversation. Follow us on Twitter at HeapTV, on Instagram at OfficialHeapTV. You can also follow me on Instagram at Nancy Isime Official. Until I see you next time, do not forget that I love you. But God loves you more. Goodbye.